I think everybody would agree it really wouldn't be a David Roth show unless I did at least one trick with a tuning fork. <laughs> it's in the contract. It's got to be done. I like this trick because it isn't really a trick at all. This is science, physics, acoustics. Something I got out of a 17th century book on sound and echoes at the public library. It's a little thing with a tuning fork and a glass. See, it said in this book, if you take a tuning fork and hit it on the table, you really can't hear it too well, can you? I can hit it all day. You really can't hear it because there's no amplifier. There's no resonator. It's just like a violin. If the little box wasn't under the strings, you wouldn't hear it 10 feet away. But the box is there and it amplifies the sound. I will use this glass as an amplifier for the tuning fork. It's very simple. I'll take the fork, hit it on the table, take the sound, drop it in the glass. Of course, you won't hear anything until I turn the glass over and the sound pours out, obviously. And it looks like this. You take the fork, hit it on the table, take the sound, drop it in the glass. It's in there. Listen. Sure enough, you'd almost believe the sound came out of the glass. Let me do that again. Look, I take the fork, put it on the table, take the sound, drop it in the glass. Listen. Sure enough, yeah. <laughs> you'd almost believe sound came out of the glass. You know, it's really strange. Not only does it work with tuning forks, it even works with coins. In fact, I'll do the same thing with the coins that I did with the fork. I take the coins, I drop them in the glass, I shake the glass. That fills the glass with the sound of the coins. Now, I can take the coins out, but the echo stays. And if I'm careful, I can pour it into my hand. And if you listen, sure enough, you will hear those coins inside. But it's just like the tuning fork. It's only an echo. And after a few seconds, it just fades. <laughs> I rather enjoyed that myself. Let me do that again. <laughs> coins, you drop it in the glass. I shake the glass. That fills the glass with the sound of the coins. I take the coins out, but the echo stays. I pour it into my hand. Listen up. You'll hear it. But it's just like the tuning fork. It's only an echo. And after a few seconds, it just isn't there. You can even applaud it that way if you want. <laughs> coins have an echo, like the tuning fork, lingers when I drop them in the glass, just like the fork, look, right, fills the glass with the sound of the coins, I take the coins out, the echo stays, I pour it into my hand, listen up, you'll hear it. Of course, if I shake my hand too hard, the echo actually takes on form and substance, actually becomes three more coins, that they didn't explain in the book, I had to figure that out for myself, but I did, and as you can see, I have uh, doubled my money. Of course, there was one more thing down at the uh, bottom of the page in that old book. It said you could take all six coins, put them in the hand together, really. I'll even show them to you inside. And then take the fork, hit it not on the table, but on my glass, and just hold it near the coins. And for some strange reason, all six coins will vanish. <laughs> the glass.